when you're abused as a child or you're very shy and come from an unstable home, it is even more challenging and more difficult to just expose yourself and to be open and to share and to talk about the things that are perceived as negative, such as drug addiction. We give off this persona of being very confident and a very sexual being uh, and embody that persona of a rock star that he did so incredibly well. But deep down inside, there is those insecurities, and we know he lived a very private and a very quiet life in his personal life. So many of us don't even know that people are using this medication or abusing the medication as well. And the rates of prescriptions for this medication has increased significantly. Yeah. 12 million Americans are being prescribed this medication. Once you become addicted, the withdrawal symptoms become very severe. Yeah, yeah. mixing up medications is a prescription yeah for disaster and for death and for it's death quite often lethal and i don't think many people realize how important that is yeah. i don't think a lot of parents even know what the fire challenge is yeah and so creating an awareness of it and having them sit down with their kids mm -hmm. even having teachers pediatricians talk to these teenagers about the harmful impact this is going to have. You're gonna have permanent scarring on your body, mm -hmm. and it's also gonna to lead to a lot of anxiety and other traumas down the road. Okay. We don't wanna punish a child. We wanna attach consequences to a behavior that they're doing. Okay, so and what's you, the correct consequence? When you get to sit down and talk about it and find out why, you could come up with a contract with your kids and talking about what will happen if you do engage in these inappropriate behaviors. Dr. Joe Taravella, thank you so much for your insight, and of course, go to our Pix11 news app and you can get in touch with Dr. Joe. We can't be dependent on the likes or the lack of likes that we get in social media. And I tell people you got to go internal, you got to find happiness from within, what you're doing with your life, how you're taking charge of your life, and try to let that stuff go. It's not as important as you think. A lot of people get stressed out during the holidays. There's a lot to get done and manage, but you need to remind yourself that you do this every year and so you can handle it.